hello humans. I'm still around. I'm sorry that I kind of disappeared for like an entire week, but it was kind of just a really bad week and I didn't really have anything interesting to share with you guys. Um, I did get to do some pretty cool things, but I haven't really had time to tape anything. I did actually record two different videos that I'm not going to upload. I was gonna do this whole um, thing starting like a Shibari 201 series because I wanted to do um, a tutorial on the f tutorial on the Futamomo tie, but the way that I did it in the video, it was kind of just a hot mess and it ended up being like 25 minutes long and just way too complicated because I was trying to fit in two different variations, so... We're gonna, we're gonna try and fix that to only be one variation so that it's a little bit more user friendly and can actually, you know, make sense. That would be great. So, and then I did another, um, just like me in the car and I was like trying to give you guys like an update on what was going on. And then it was just like this awful angle that like made me look like this and it was just an unattractive thing. And I was just like, mm. so I didn't upload that either. Um, and then I was just having a really bad, like, you ever have just a really bad mental health week? And then, like, it just kind of builds on top of itself from day to day to day until by the end of the week, like, you're just not even a person anymore. And then it got to the point that I pretty much had to have um, Matt drag me out of that hole I'd fallen into. But I'm doing better now. I had a really great weekend with friends. We had this big barbecue, cooked some great food. Um, I got to do fire play for the first time, which was really fun. I tied someone's first suspension. Uh, we had an at-home date night. Um, we did some rope and wax and stuff, and that was really great because we hadn't been making time to do that kind of stuff. Because that's the funny thing about when you live with your partner and you have like a suspension rig available at all times and like one room over it's just it's the same thing with like living in a town you don't go do the stuff that people come to your town to go do because you live there like i have this here all the time we could do rope at any time so it's so easy to be like oh you know what let's just do it tomorrow i don't feel like it and you have to remember to actually prioritize those kinds of things. So we hadn't been doing that and trying to trying to get better about actually doing the things that we want to do. So yeah, I finally did that. Um, I hadn't touched my whips in quite a while, but when I was at the barbecue this weekend, we were talking about whips. And while I was sitting there, I actually started a new one. Um, I've been wanting to do a longer snake whip for a while because the first one that I did was like four and a half feet. And it's, it's just not a great whip because it was the first whip I ever made. And every whip I've made since then has just been the three foot snake whips. And so I finally started another six foot snake whip that I'm pretty excited about. So far, it's just the core and the first belly. I still need to roll it out. But you can see the core's nice and long and hopefully this turns into a really cute whip. I'm thinking it's probably for the overlay, I've got a lot of the blue paracord, so I'm probably gonna do like a blue and black 50-50 striped, nice cute bull whip, uh, snake whip. And maybe after this one, when I'm kind of back into the swing of things, I'll actually use the steel cord, the steel rod, which I think is sitting right next to me somewhere. I don't know, maybe I'll actually use that and make the bull whip that I've been wanting to make for months. I just kind of, like, I went through that mental health dip and I'm trying to kind of push it back up. I I am, I do have clinical depression and I've been on medication for it for a couple of months finally because I finally actually went to the doctor and talked to them about it like you should. And, but then this past week was so bad that I even stopped taking my meds because I just didn't feel like it and that screws you up even worse than you already were and so all around it just it it wasn't a good time 
But June's going to be a really busy month for me. I've got weddings, collarings, canoe trips, all sorts of crazy things planned for pretty much every weekend, which is both exciting and stressful, um, having that many plans. Like, I don't know what I'm going to have me time, but I also don't really like having me time. So I don't know. But... I'm just kind of checking in with you guys. This is just me rambling, as always, about nothing. Um, yeah, this is this is my life. It's a whole lot of just chaos. But I'm going to try and retape that Futamomo video maybe today, maybe later. I just wanted to at least upload something since it's been like an entire week since I've done anything on this channel and I'm sorry about that. If you're new, I'm gonna try and be better and try and be more active and I will start working on that Futamomo video because I do want to do the Shibari 201 series so like once you finish the 101 you'll have something else to work on. And I do still want to do like a 102 series, like using the things from the 101 and like not doing, not teaching new ties, but just like showing things you can do with those, like how to do a hog tie, how to do a frog tie, like just like basic ground stuff that you can do and like apply these things. So like, oh, you can tie a single column and now what? So I want to do like the and now what is like a 102, like... I don't know. Let me know what you think, uh, if there's anything specific you want to do. I did have someone request uh, going over like rope corsets, which I'm not a big fan of the decorative ties. It's just not something that I do very often. I'm not against them. I think it's cool. It's just not something that I really tie, but I'll give it a shot. It might be a fun thing to experiment with and broaden my own horizons. So I've got some things planned. Hopefully they'll be up soon. Send me some encouragement, you guys. I need it, clearly. I'm just trying to get my life back on track. But I'm still here. I'll be back. I'm going to do some things for you guys. And I will catch you next time. Bye.